Hey everyone, it's Kaylin. Thanks so much for being here with me on the mat again today. Uh, just when you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and bring your mat out and have your weights off to the side. We're just gonna do some warming up first. So I want you to start to spread your feet and have them uh, maybe a little bit wider than hip distance here. We're gonna bring the hands either behind the head or onto the hips, slight bend into the knees. We're gonna do what's called good morning. So we're gonna hinge forward, so flat back here as you um, stick your bum out behind you, and then we're gonna lift it back up. So you're only coming into about 90 degrees, even if that far. So it just depends on how tight you are in those hamstrings. So here we're not only getting a nice stretch in the hamstrings, we're also starting to wake up those glutes as you come back up to that standing position. So hinge and lift. Good, and as you're moving here, think of keeping that core engage, belly button pulled in. We're gonna need that core stability as we move through these exercises. Good, let's do two more, two. And last one, good, and all the way up. All right, just some squats here. So again, legs maybe a little bit wider than shoulder distance, toes mostly forward, maybe a little bit turned out and just body weight squats, so sitting back into those heels and then bring it back up. So here, it's not a hinge forward, right? We're not folding forward into that upper body, that chest stays lifted, but sit back into your heels so we can really activate more into the back of those legs. Good, We're also gonna feel the quads here as well for these squats. Let's just do four more. So we're starting to get some of these movements in that we are gonna be doing as part of our regular workout. Last two, just warming up that body. Last one and lift. All right, now from here, toes turned out. Bring the legs a little bit wider. We're gonna be doing some wide squats now. Knees turning in the direction of the toes as you lower down and lift up. It's a little bit more inner thigh work here with these. Good, core engaged. Focusing on that alignment. That's it. Let's do four more. Four, three, last two, and last one. Good, bring it all the way up. All right, we're gonna grab our weights here. We're gonna be doing a single arm opposite, sorry, single leg lift with an opposite arm lift. This is where these five pound weights might start to feel a little bit heavy, so drop them if you need to. But find a nice even stance here, feet nice and planted on the floor. Shoulder blades back and down, core pulling in and up. All right, we're gonna start lifting opposite arm, opposite leg, finding that balance. We're gonna be doing a little bit more with balance here right after this. So focus on control. This isn't about moving quick. We wanna focus on that stability and that single leg work. And try not to swing that weight up towards the ceiling. Really control that movement and we control it down as well. Good, lift, keep the shoulders away from the ears. That's it, lift and lower. Good. Let's do two more on each side, waking up those glute muscles even more here in this balancing work. Good, last one. Good, and bring it all the way down. All right, now we're gonna stay on a single side for a single leg deadlift. So we have the weights in the hands. We're gonna take the left foot forward, right toes, if balance isn't good, right toes can stay on the floor behind you, or the leg is gonna lift off fully off the floor, okay? So slight bend to your left knee. Think of that flat back hinge here. So you're gonna hinge forward as that right leg either comes up or toes stay down onto the floor and then we lift it all the way back up. Find that balance. Good, hinge forward, find a spot to look at on the floor, a little farther away from you, good. And then bring it all the way back up. Good, so again, keeping that back nice and flat is key, keeping the shoulder blades pulling back and down. It's gonna help keep that spine nice and long. The weights aren't coming far forward, are staying close to that standing leg as you bring it down. Good, and then back up. 
Nice, we're gonna do two more here. If you're a barefoot like I am, this is a little bit more of a challenge because we don't have the support of our shoe, which often gives us that arch support for our balance. So this is definitely challenging for me. This is not my best standing single leg on this left side. Good, all the way back up. All right, now go ahead and bring it back to center. Shake it out, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So right leg now, again, left toes can come back a little bit onto the floor if you need that extra support. And then we hinge it forward. Again, slight bend to that standing leg. Nice flat back here. And then bring it all the way up. Nice and slow. If you're wobbling just like I am, that is okay. You are working those muscles. You are finding that stability with each wobble. So no reason to get discouraged if you are wobbling and shaking. Just do the best you can. All right, again, legs or weights are staying near that standing leg as we hinge forward. Good, and then bring it back up. All right, let's do two more. Hinge it, slight bend to that front knee. Okay, kicking that leg up and back if you can. If not, it's okay. All right, lifts. We have one more just like that. Hinge. Good. Again, finding that focus point. And then go ahead and bring it all the way back up. All right, beautiful job. All right, shake those legs out. We are going to find a squat. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring my weights to my shoulders. Okay, if you would rather keep them close to your sides, that's fine too. If the weights are up, those shoulders are down, so make sure you're not lifting the shoulders up. All right, when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and do our regular squats here, just adding a little bit of extra weight to our squats. A little bit of extra resistance, a little bit more strength work, gets those glutes and legs to work a little bit harder. Good, sit back in those heels as you squat it down. Very nice, lower and lift. So it's not about moving quickly, it's about that control. Good, lower and lift. Sometimes moving slower is actually more challenging. Moving faster, you can kind of speed through the movements and not really think about activating or engaging the right muscles. Good, two more. And last one, hold it at the bottom. Give me little pulses up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and all the way back up. All right, take the arms down by the sides for a moment. Shake out the shoulders. Go ahead and bring those feet right under the hips. So now, you're gonna keep the lower body nice and steady. We're gonna do some standing shoulder presses. So we're gonna take those arms back up to the shoulders and we're gonna straighten them straight up towards the ceiling so your biceps are right by your ears and then lower them back down. So we're not using the lower body at all to help us up. This is not a, um, a push press where you bend the knees. The knees stay straight the whole time. The only thing that's moving is that arm. Good, press and down. Palms will stay facing each other for this one. Good, let's do six more. Six, good, five, last four. Good, we're gonna use this shoulder press here in just a moment. After we do the next one, we're gonna combine the three movements that were um, the last one that we're gonna do. We're gonna combine these three movements. So arms are gonna be um, back on the shoulders for curtsy lunges. So we're gonna alternate sides here. So we're gonna keep the arms here. We're gonna take one leg back, bend into both knees, tap the knee down, and then bring it back up to center, switching sides. So try to stay straight up and down, hips and chest stay facing forward, and it's just that leg that's going back. Go ahead, tap and lift. A lot of glute work in that standing leg. Make sure you're not leaning back into the leg you're tapping down. Stay over that front leg. That's really gonna work that front leg glute, especially. Okay, let's do one more each side. 
Again, you can always bring the weights down here by your sides if you need that modification. All right, bringing it back to center. We're gonna combine these two. So I want you to, or I'm sorry, the last three exercises. So weights to shoulders. We're gonna find the squat first. So go ahead and squat it down, lift it up, hold here, shoulder press. Good, bring it down, curtsy lunge to one side only. Back to center, squat, lift, shoulder press, lower, curtsy lunge, other side. Good, we stay here, squat, lift, shoulders, lower, and down. Very nice. Good, keep that movement going. Good, curtsy lunge, back to center. Good. Curtsy lunge, that's it. Okay, a little upper body, lower body. You got this, we're gonna do one more each side. And center, good, last one, squat. Press, bend, and bring it down. And back to center, beautiful job. All right, shake out those shoulders. Grab a drink of water, we're gonna take Quick break right here. I'll meet you right back for the rest of class. All right, let's turn and face the um, end of our mat. And we're gonna walk forward just a little bit. Keep your right leg forward. You're gonna bring your left leg back behind you. So you're in a standing lunge here. We're gonna um, do a static um, a single leg squat here, okay? So your feet are in like railroad tracks. So you don't have your left foot directly behind your right, okay? Now hips and shoulders stay facing forward. You're going to bend both knees as you just tap your left knee, your back knee down, and then you're gonna lift your arms out to the sides as you do that into a lateral shoulder raise, and then lower the arms as you come back up to standing. Good, so we tap that back knee down, lift the arms, and then we come back up. Good, tap as you lower, lift the arms, and up, good. So static lunge or single leg squat means you're not, um, single leg split squat, you're not moving the legs at all. They're staying in that one steady position, all you're doing is bending and straightening. Good, let's do five more, four. Arms just come up to shoulder height, three, Last two, last one. All right, now step forward a little bit with your back leg and bend into both knees, hold that position. Elbows by your sides, hinge forward, use that core to stay steady and strong. Tricep kickbacks, good. So keeping the elbow up and back and just extending out the elbow. Really getting that full contraction in that tricep. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bend the elbows, stand up tall. We're gonna go ahead and turn around or just switch legs for the other side. So now left leg will be forward, right leg back. Good, chest and hips facing same direction. Nice tall spine, all right. Start to bend the knees, drop the back knee down, open the arms, and then bring it back up. So it's that lateral shoulder raise as you lower down. Good. And lift. Good, so really squeeze those muscles in your legs when you straighten them. Good, lift, you wanna find that contraction. Good, and up. Find something to focus on here. We have four more, four, three, that's it. Last two, last one. All right, take that back leg in a little bit. Kickstand it, lean forward at the hips, tricep extension. Good, so still getting some good leg strengthening work here as you hold yourself in this little Squat, good, extending that tricep all the way. Press, good, five, four, three, two, 
and one. All right, stand it all the way back up. All right, we're gonna come back to that wide squat we did. So toes turned out, knees turn in the direction of the toes. We're gonna go ahead and find that rack of our weights on the shoulders here again. Now this time when we come down, we're gonna do a little pulse at the bottom. So one little pulse. So you're gonna go ahead and squat it down, hold it here, we do a little pulse, and then we lift it back up. Good, and we continue that. We do a pulse and a lift. Good. And up. Nice knees turning out and away. Make sure they're not turning in as you go into that squat. Good, pulse, pulse and up. You can always bring your weights here. If holding them up on your shoulders just feels like a little bit too much. So choose the version that works for you. Four more. Good, three. Last two. That's it. Last one. Good, and up. All right, bring the arms back down. We have one more exercise. That is a reverse fly. So this time the feet are gonna stay in a parallel position. We're gonna find that little shallow squat, hinging slightly forward at the waist. Palms face each other as the arms come down, soft bend in your elbow. Then you pull your arms back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lower it down. Good squeeze and lower. Good squeeze and lower. And again, we're not throwing the weights up and letting them come back down quickly. We're finding that control. So that downward motion is still as important as that pulling back motion. This is great for strengthening those upper back muscles, opening the front of the chest and shoulders. We just have four more, four, three, two, last one. Good, arms come down, stand it all the way up. Let's go ahead and take our weights now. Actually, let's keep them in our hands for these roll downs. So go ahead and just have your feet still in that narrow stance. We're gonna take a deep inhale here at the top. We're gonna to exhale, bring the chin to chest and start to peel the spine down one vertebrae at a time. So those weights will help your upper body start to round forward and it should feel nice. Those weights are adding a little extra resistance to help you come into the standing forward fold. Now, once you're down there, let your head and neck go. So you're not holding any tension. Maybe shake the head yes and shake the head no. If you're overextending the knees, maybe have a slight bend to your knees. And then just do some nice, easy circles here. So both arms are going to be doing, um, sorry, arm circles. But these are small, so the arms are always reaching towards the floor. It's just these little circles. Arms are circling in opposite directions. Should feel a nice release. And then reverse the circles. If it's too much with the weights to do your circles, just drop the weights. All right, now steady the arms. Now this time I do want everyone to drop your weights on the floor. And then you're gonna start to roll back up to standing. So continue to roll up. Good, stacking your spine one vertebrae at a time until you come all the way up. All right, now watch for your weights that are on the floor there, but widen your legs, toes stay forward. Take your hands behind your back. You're gonna clasp your hands there and really open up the chest and the shoulders. And we're gonna do a little forward fold. So we're gonna start to hinge at the hips, setting the hips or the glutes back out behind you. As you fold forward your arms now, we're gonna reach up towards the ceiling if possible and hold it there or bend your right knee and twist and look open to the left. So you're gonna look over that left shoulder up towards the ceiling. Good, come back through center. Other side, twist and look open to the right, bending your left knee. Good, back to center. Again, bending right leg, looking up and over to the left. Good, back to center. Other side, twist. 
Good, back to center. Good, fold forward one last time. Both arms are reaching up towards the ceiling. And then drop the arms towards the floor and then roll the spine all the way back up. Very nice. All right, let's do some nice big arm circles here just to finish it up. So taking the arms forward, up and back. Well, if you got a little glisten of sweat with that one, feel a little warm, nice and worked in both your upper and lower body. Go ahead and reverse the circles. Good. So something short and sweet to maybe start your day or take a break during your day, or maybe it's after work, a nice way to decompress and move your body. But adding those weights, it's great getting that little extra resistance. So um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Would love to hear what you thought in the comments below. I'm going to link a couple of videos here. This one up here I think would be a great video for you. And then down here is my last video before this one. I have lots more videos on my channel. So go ahead and check that out as well. And um, again, let me know if you have any questions below. So thanks so much. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.